Hey guys, it's Dee, and today I'm coming to you to review the uh, Bare Essentials TSV, which aired on November 16th. And um, I ordered, pre ordered mine, but I didn't get it till after the showing, so um, yeah, so I couldn't get it to you beforehand. But hopefully, you guys got it because it was really, really a good deal. Um, the kit was called uh, Brilliant, Brilliant Lit, Brilliantly Beautiful. I can't speak English, right? <laughs> so, um, yeah, and of course, I show you the pamphlet. It always, they always seem to have recently two looks um, in the compact. And yeah, it came with, I'm going to just show you everything it came with little gold bag which is kind of cute you could use it as a little clutch if you carry nothing I only have a hand carry, carry my life so uh, even if I was going out my cell phone wouldn't even fit in here because my cell phone is huge so yeah no but it is beautiful um, you could use it as a gift wrap present for somebody which I may do um, it also comes with two brushes a flawless application brush, brush, which I opened this time um, because the for some reason I never noticed that they changed the bristles on the brush and they're now dark. All the ones that I have, which are older ones, are light, so I wanted to feel it. Yeah, it was a feel thing. What can I say? Um, so yeah, that's the brush. And then the other brush, the reason why I opened this one, which I'm going to open for you now that I didn't open it, um, it has a regular uh, crease brush on the end. And then on this side it has this funny looking rubberized uh, tip that you're supposed to use with the liners. Okay. So the next thing that they have in here, which is... This is a full face uh, without your mascara. <coughs> Excuse me. I have it on um, without mascara because I wanted to bring it to you just as it is. Um, you know, mascara always makes things look so much better. Um, so, here we go. The one reason why I ordered it is because they had uh, a quad of eyeshadows, which I was totally excited about. I really love, love, love the ready eyeshadows because they're creamy, they're easy to blend, they're easy to put on, um, and easy to, to get to. I mean, they're right in the quad. So this quad I've been using and using and using. So I really, really, when I say I love it, I love it. The name of the quad is The Possibilities. And here are the colors. The dark purple is called Sign, the gray is called Destiny, the peachy color is Future, and the tannish color is called Promise. And the one thing, if you watched the QVC presentation of this product, is that she said that some of these are, hmm, I want to say re reused colors, and I say reused colors because they had them in... Um, loose and they, they did them pressed and that's what the press looks like so this one is uh, bisque and this one the purple one is idle um, the other two I'm not sure about she did say but they're they they're doing some of the old ones so if you're somebody who likes the loose colors and you were waiting for them to bring out some kind of refurbished colors in the in the ready here they are so let me swatch these for you okay so there are the colors and I think they're gorgeous um, I'm wearing the face today and yeah I'm going out later, so I figured I'd go ahead and put it on and not have to have you watch me do it for 20 minutes. <laughs> so, there you go. Really pretty. 
Um, the, what also came in the kit, which was their, which was a worldwide launch for them, was the Ready Liner Shadows, and they come in a duo. And this is called the Horizon Line, and yeah, they have panoramic and perspective. So that's what they look like here. And I was excited about these because I love their liner shadows before. I used to use them regularly. And um, because they're in a creamy consistency, these are, uh, I was like totally excited, right? So uh, let's see, here are the colors. One is a gray and the other one is retro. If you are a very sensual fan, you remember retro. Retro was that dark brown that kind of was just before you get the black, which was really great for every day. So here, I will swatch those for you. All right, so those are the two liner colors. The blush, which is called Perfect Rose, is in the regular loose, which I personally like. Um, I have tons of them. And yeah, here's the color. I like them, and the reason why I like them, not that you can't use them with other products, but um, like the Ready, you can't use it with, but. I like it because you can use it as an eyeshadow, a lip gloss, um, or blush, or whatever, whatever you want. Because that was the fun part about Bare Essentials is that even though the colors were slated for eye or um, cheek, you can use whatever you want. So that would be the color of the Perfect Rose. And Leslie basically said that that was supposed to be the perfect rose for everybody. And I have it on, and I think it looks great, to be honest. If you, yeah, if you like it, uh, a rose color blush. The other word, worldwide launch, ooh, speak English to you, um, is their uh, mineral veil. This is called the Perfect Light Mineral Veil. And it comes in, the, of course, the old style loose, switch. I prefer um, and it is just the plain looking it looks like the plain looking mineral veil it's in a click lock and go sifter so there you go um, but this mineral veil was supposed to be able to make you look great in any light so you know how you go into the lady you get dressed at home and you think you look good and then you go to the ladies room and you're like oh boy um maybe that's a little bit too much blush or maybe something's not right this is supposed to make you look great in every light so it doesn't matter whether you're in daylight or horrible office light you're supposed to look great so yeah i'm going to test this out on monday because my bathroom lights in my the well, bathroom lights in my bathroom at work make you look so sick oh man <laughs> so definitely gonna try that out and last but not least was the lip gloss it's a moxie lip gloss and to me um bare essentials used to use a ton of buxom in their kits um, or the natural which i like the natural but i think they are now buxom is exclusively for sephora so that's why we're getting moxie and I have to say, I like Moxie so much better because it doesn't sting to the extent that the Buxoms do. I have a couple of Buxoms. I love their colors, but I have to put on a balm, a lip balm, before I put it on because it hurts. It's like, ah. So these are this is really a pretty color. Um, what's the color? Let's see. It counts read it on the back of the tube because, hey, if you can read that on the back of the tube, you're dangerous, but I'll stick it up there. Come on, focus, focus. I think it got it. Um, so let's see if I can find it on here. Uh, it's called Shining Star. And 
I'll swatch a little bit. And I have, again, I have the full face on. The only thing I, ha I one thing I have on that's not Bare Essentials is my, my uh, eyeliner. My, darn, my brow liner. That's It Cosmetics, and I've showed that to you before. But everything else on my face today is Bare Essentials. Um, so there's the color. Yeah, and it comes in like a crooked, we still did yeah. <laughs> the crooked palette, um, doe foot. And yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. As I drop it, there's the color for you. And they're all the colors. Sorry. Okay, the one thing I wanted to show you that I, I, I am a creature of habit, so I probably will not be using this brush the way they intended it to be used uh, because I'm a creature of habit. But remember I showed you this brush. This is the double-ended brush with the crease brush on this end, which is very nice. And this little rubber thingy. I'm not sure what you're supposed to... Well, I know what I'm supposed to do with it, but it's a rubber, rubberized thing. What they wanted you to do with it is take it in your liner shadow and roll it like this in the shadow and then line your eye. So we'll go like this and line your eye. So it gives a little bit, there you go. I on the other hand am, what's the word, not that proficient at lining my eyes. I love lining my eyes, but I have to do it with specific things. I can't be just pulling out something new. So that that would have to either be worked with or ignored. I, 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 there's no way. <laughs> I like the concept of it and everything, but and I like the fact that there's a tip on the end and you can kind of dot through, and I may use it for that. So, you know, if you're doing your eyes and you want it to just kind of do a little bit so it's not so pronounced, I will definitely use it for that, but to actually use it to line my eyes, probably not. The one um, in the little container it came a little teeny tiny liner. And this actual liner works very well. I've used it. So I like it. Um, so if you're in a pinch, you can use this liner. Yeah. So, um, with that said, this kit was 50 bucks. And again, I always wait for their holiday kits because I'm excited, first of all, about what they're going to bring. Because they usually bring something that's a little, um, you know, festive, as well as a great value. So, let's just go with, the kit was $50. And remember, I showed you regular size mineral veil, regular sized blush, regular sized moxie, two brushes, this one I know is $22. I'm not sure what this one is, if it's $18 or $20, whatever. Um, so you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items, including the bag. So let's just throw the bag out if that was the case. Because sometimes people were like, eh, I'm not really into the bag. Bags are beautiful though. If you just bought this, if you could get it out, of, out on open stock, which you can't get right now, and the quad which you certainly can't get open stock because it's only to this kit um, for now, then that would be $50. So that would leave out the two brushes, the mineral veil, the blush, and the moxie. So, like I said, for me, I am definitely a wait for the holiday, November, Bear Essentials holiday uh, today's special value. I wait every year. I do the auto delivery on purpose because you get so much product for a little bit of money and you know and you get brushes and their brushes are decent quality and I say decent quality because I don't know what the other ones are like. I think these are great. I love them. They do what I need them to do. So I don't have a Sigma brush and I don't have MAC um, because I get them in the kits and why waste and I'm not saying that they're a waste of money because they're in no way shape or form are they um, What I'm saying is why go out and buy brushes when you can get them via kits 
Some of them you may not use everything, but that comes in kits too when you buy them in the in the brush rolls. And again, last last season, remember, I got a whole brush roll of, of, of brushes and almost every single one, I take that back, every single one I would use from last year's TSV. So this one's really pretty because it's red. I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I may give it to a uh, girlfriend who is a red fiend. And when I say red fiend, <laughs> red fiend. <laughs> but anyway, um, I don't know. So I just wanted to show you the colors are really good. And I would normally say go check out QVC and see if you can get it for a slightly higher price but it's sold out. There's not one to be had. So if you missed it, I'm sorry. Um, yeah. I keep preaching do the TSV in November, so um, I'm sorry if you missed it. I will show you the upcoming installments that will come after the fact. I think there's one in April, one in July, and one in October. Again, I always show you what they are. And if it's something you can get open stock, I will let you know. Right now, everything that was in this kit, you can, other than this, which you can get open stock, but you can't get it in red. Um, oh, that's not true. You can go, that is true. Um, you, you can get it, but you just can't get it in red. It's not in open stock. However, they did have a brush roll for like $49 where you can get five brushes uh, for the $49, which is a good price as well. Because remember, this one brush is like $22. Um, but that's the reason why I get them. I am a Bare Essentials nut. I don't buy from Bare Essentials, which is kind of crazy in most cases. I either buy from Sephora or Ulta. Because the Bare Essentials for me is in Cherry Hill, and unless I'm going to my hairstylist, I'm not driving over to Cherry Hill. <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't benefit me. It benefits me to do it through QVC. And yes, is it cost me shipping and handling? Usually it's about six or seven dollars. Um, yeah, but just think about the fact that you get eight pieces, and yeah, you pay the shipping and handling. But even if that's the case, if I even included the the shipping and handling, this is 50 bucks. With the shipping and handling, it's $60. So for $5 more, that's not even going to give you, not even close to, what may give you a gallon of gas, that's about it. Um, might as well just go for it, right? You don't have to leave your house. You can wait for it to come on, come to you. All right, yeah, I know, I'm, I'm a crazy QVC person, but only because they give you such great values. I mean, let's be realistic. Such great values. All right, so I'm going to come close to the screen. Don't scream. <laughs> um, so you can see the colors of my eyes and in my cheeks and the lip color. So, yeah, here's the cheek color. And I'll look down so you can see the eye color. And I put all four colors on today. Um, again, I don't have one mascara. I will be putting that on. I don't have any bare essential mascara, so I didn't put it put any on today. And... Um, the bronzer that I have on is their bronzer in Deep deep Dive. I think it's called Deep Dive. It's the darkest one if you want to know. Um, but yeah. So here's the, the face. I love it. And I'm hoping... Now, this is going to sound really bad. I'm hoping that they bring some dark colors. Because I love all the other colors. I love the lipsticks. I love the dark colors. Because I love eyeshadow. You know that about me. Uh, but they did show what the auto deliveries were going to be. Compacts are not going to be coming in red, from what I can see. They'll be coming in silver with a double-ended brush and a bigger brush. Um, different brushes, but um, yeah. So I'm excited. The only thing that's going to be the same will be the mineral veil. And, well, you know, everybody needs the mineral veil if you use Bare Essentials. Um, so, you know, I don't... I haven't bought mineral veil in years. You know what I buy? I'll be honest with you. Let me let, let me get on the soapbox about why I, I shop at QVC and get these kits. Um, number one, they're a great value. Number two, normally during the year, the only thing that I have to um, go out and buy would either be foundation, 
because I use the matte foundation and I love it, and Honey Bisque. Those are the only two things that I, on a regular basis, replace. Because, again, I have blushes coming out the, the yin yang, which I'll show you at one point, and I have um, eyeshadows coming out the yin yang from different kits. And the one thing they do is they don't go bad. So you have them forever. So I don't run out and buy anything. Why am I excited about these? Because they're ready. Um, and I'm excited because I can, when I travel, I can just throw them in my bag and I don't have to worry about them being loose and getting messy. But do I still use my, ready, my, my old ones, my the loose ones? Absolutely. Love, love, love. Um, love. Okay, so that's why I like these. Yes. But would I replace them? Yeah, because I love them. I love Bare Essentials. So, yeah. So, understand. If you like color and you like different colors and you like to collect, do I collect everything from every place? Absolutely not. I shop at Sephora. I shop at Ulta. I shop at QVC. Most times I go to, it's either Sephora, most of the time it's Sephora, unless I can get a coupon, um, to Sephora and I get my foundation and my um, Honey Bisque, which is a concealer. Other than that, I don't buy anything else, Bare Essentials, all <laughs> open stock, because I get it through the kits. I, I don't really need it. I have different types of mineral veil that I use. I use a different one almost every day. Um, I have one that's a bronzer color. I have one that's just regular tinted. I have this one. I have one with pearls in it. Um, so I, I have one that's supposed to be moisturizing, which I, didn't, I really didn't understand that one, but I have it. And I love them all. So do I need more of this? No, but I, when I go out and buy it, don't need to. I have different ones that I can use all the time, so I use different ones all the time. So, I'm going to get off my soapbox and, again, for $60, you get a whole lot. You get a full face, and the only thing you're supplementing what is mascara and maybe doing your, your, your eyes, and you're probably, with this kit, you could probably do your eyes with the brown that's in here. Um, I just didn't do that today. No, I'm going to try that. Um, but I love, 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 love. Okay, so gonna get off my soapbox that was the Bare Essentials TSC from November 2012 it was the brilliantly um, oh, beautifully brilliant <laughs> I speak English didn't you and you know you get the beautiful bag so I hope you enjoyed this and yes I was long-winded and yes I know I sound crazy but again I do it because it saves me money in one way or another all right well have a good day and I hope you got the kit Bye.